KTAB News at 6 continues. A Clyde man is a lifelong motorcycle aficionado. He has many miles under his belt and still has some big ambitions, not to mention his own private museum. KTAB's Dustin Tatro has the story of Mike and Alice in this week's Senior Spotlight. Motorcycles have been a passion for Mike Bell since he visited Lake Texoma as a boy. I would stand around and look at them and, and uh, I just uh, developed a desire to be a motorcycle person. Those people had so much fun. Mike started in at age 10 with a moped. And then when I was 16, I got my first Harley. So I've always ridden old motorcycles that had to be worked on. And there's been more of those over the years than many might imagine. 25 or 30 probably. Mike found out about an event called the Cannonball Run through an Antique Motorcycle Association magazine. And I said, hey, coast to coast, that's for me. But it had to be a 1915 or older. That's right, to officially ride in the literally cross-country run, a century-old motorcycle is required. Enter Alice, Mike's 1916 Harley-Davidson. What's it like to ride? It's awesome. Mike, a bulldog steel retiree whose artwork as a water tower painter can still be seen in many Texas towns, has ridden in the cannonball twice already and plans to do it again next year on Alice. It's just something about an old bike that makes people go, wow. You rode that across the United States? And at the age of 75. I don't know that age makes any difference. It's the love of motorcycles. In Clyde, Dustin Tatro, KTAB News. Great story. Thanks, Dustin. Bell said that during the cannonball run, he's accompanied by a support team in a motorhome towing a trailer with some spare parts. However, he's only able to utilize that resource at night. If he breaks down during daytime, he must figure out how to fix the Harley on his own, just as he would have 100 years ago. All of Dustin's senior spotlight features are available on our website at bigcountryhomepage.com. It is now time for sports. Let's go over to David in the BCH Sports Center. No Harley there. No Harley, and you don't have to go back 100 years. <laughs> Thank goodness, because I'm not that.